Hi guys, Tays here. Welcome back to another episode of Rosenberg. So uh, what we're gonna do today is uh, we're gonna work on a a marina um, right here uh, by the by the bridge, um, and uh, we're also gonna do this custom bridge. And it's actually not gonna be the one um, there. You can like you can see a bridge uh, on the highway there. It's not gonna be that one. Um, I tried this first bridge over here, which you can see. Uh, and uh, it is looking great and stuff, but uh, it didn't fit for the three-lane highway, which I really wanted to have. Um, so I had to, I had to change the bridge, and uh, yeah, you'll see that pretty soon. So uh, I'm gonna change it to um, another bridge by Journable, and um, the one you see on the screen, like at the moment, is also by him. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna change to the bridge which is, which is called um, the Smile Bridge or something like that. Uh, it's a pretty like weird and uh, unusual design um, because it obviously looks like a smile. <laughs> so yeah, you can see I'm using it right here. Uh, I went with this one instead because um, it uh, it is meant for for three lane highways highways which I uh, I'm obviously using. So uh, yeah, because uh, the other one like sort of clipped through the the highway and and it didn't look good. So so yeah, I decided to use uh, this um, smile bridge, which which apparently exists in in Dubai, if uh, if I'm not wrong. Uh, I think so, because um, I think it's called the smile bridge uh, from Dubai or something. Uh, so so I guess this um, exists in real life. I haven't seen it, but, uh, but yeah, I, <laughs> I think it's a pretty unique bridge. And um, I couldn't find any other uh, like a good uh, one that fit for uh, for three lane highways. Um, but yeah, I decided to go with this one. And uh, as you saw me in the beginning do, I uh, I created a, a custom train bridge as well because uh, I wanted to have one with because because it just goes next to that other bridge. So I wanted to have a bit of more special one for for the trains as well. So uh, yeah, I went with those. Uh, I cannot remember what they call and who made those, uh, but I think if you just search for like train bridge or something on the workshop, I think you'll be able to find them. Uh, but yeah, I, I quite like how those look as well. Uh, but uh, what I'm doing here is using these um, surface um, things, like surface props, I think they're called, and I'm just putting them between here, so so it doesn't look like there's like such a big empty space there in the middle. And uh, I quite liked how it, uh, how it turned out with all of those. But uh, yeah, so uh, that went pretty fast, just making that bridge. Uh, I didn't really do that much detailing around it, or, or I didn't, I pretty much didn't do anything. Uh, but I, yeah, I'll probably do that, put some uh, like foliage and stuff in, in some future episodes around the, uh, around the bridge uh, at the start and, and stuff of it. Uh, but yeah, we are getting into the, to the marina now. Which is uh, which is pretty much gonna be the the rest of the episode because this took a ton of time, uh, but I definitely had a lot of fun making it because because I was recording and uh, I thought uh, well I I probably have a lot more footage to record before before this time lapse is done, uh, but then I like checked and I have like more than usual, um, so yeah. But uh, I I wasn't even finished with the with the marina at that point, uh, so yeah. This um, this time lapse isn't like that long I think it's like 25 minutes uh, but but I sped it up quite a lot um, so yeah it, it might be a little bit faster than usual but uh, I don't really want to have a 30 minute uh, long time lapse because because I usually talk for for sort of half of the time lapse and then I put music on um, so yeah, I didn't want to have like two, it, it part with uh, just too much music so uh, I guess you can't have too much music, but I uh, hope you... I, I, I think you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to talk a little bit quickly about uh, the thing with the time lapse and stuff. I wanted to ask you guys if you if you think it's a good format at the moment to have... To have me talking about like half of the time lapse and then just having having music. I want to I wanna know if you, if you think that is a good format or if I should change it and... Uh, yeah, just uh, just let me know what you think, and um, I would appreciate that. Uh, so yeah, but uh, talking a little bit more about about what I'm doing here on the screen, I'm using these um, these piers. Uh, I I can't remember who made them, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, I'm using these ones, and I think they look great. 
because um, uh, sometimes assets usually tend to be like very bright. Um, so, but yeah, I really like the like color and uh, the brightness and stuff of this uh, of this pier. Um, so yeah, I pretty happy with that turnout, and I'm I'm putting a lot of uh, these uh, big boats and and uh, sailboats and stuff around here. And uh, yeah, so my plan is to make this area, uh, this marina area, a little bit more of a luxury place, uh, where there are gonna be like more. Uh, luxury shops and all sorts of things so yeah that was my sort of plan with this uh, that's that's also the reason why I'm putting like a ton of big uh, yachts and stuff in this area as you can see there uh, on the screen but yeah we will even put a larger one uh, on the on the pier I'll make pretty soon so yeah, we're gonna have a like huge yacht over there so um, that's gonna be quite quite awesome um, so yeah, I'm um, just placing a ton of these uh, boat props. Um, uh, some of them are by Bloody Penguin, I think, and the rest I I don't remember. But I, I think if you search like Marina assets uh, or something with Marina on the workshop, I think you'll be able to find like both these piers and um, like pretty much all of these boats. I think because uh, I think it's the same guy who made like everything. Uh, and yeah, there's a great collection uh, of like Marina props and. And things if you're if you're creating something like this uh, but yeah you can see how I put down this like massive uh, yachts over there so uh, yeah that turned out pretty good and um, I guess I guess there is some like rich rich dude uh, which has that boat um, which I think is kind of cool but uh, but yeah so um, just uh, doing some different shapes over here uh, on the piers because I didn't really want to just like only have straight ones because uh, wanted to sort of mix it up have some have some turning ones I guess or something that goes in some other directions um, but yeah I, I guess I probably should have skipped a little bit about <laughs> me when I'm placing these boats over here because uh, kind of gets a little bit repetitive I think but uh, but yeah we'll pretty much soon get into get into some other nice stuff but uh, yeah so I want to talk a little bit about uh, something in the last episode so if you remember if you watched it uh, I asked you guys in the last episode uh, if you wanted to name some uh, <coughs> some districts and uh, put up a picture on the screen uh, where I showed you like a district uh, which, was, which, which was blue and uh, like another one which was red. So I asked you guys if you wanted to name them and uh, I got a few suggestions. So uh, I picked two of them, one for the blue and one for the red. and. Uh, Actually, the the second one uh, he suggested it for for a for the blue district. For for some reason, most people suggested names for the blue district. Uh, but yeah, I had to take the last one and just uh, like make it for the for the red one instead. But um, but I guess that doesn't really matter to be honest, because uh, I don't think it's something which like is connected with that district specifically. Uh, but yeah, anyways, let's get into uh, the names. So. For the blue one, um, a guy called Guest Hatch. <laughs> I probably pronounced that very wrong, uh, but yeah, Guest Hatched, something like that. He uh, he suggested Edmundstall, and uh, sounds pretty German to me. I think. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, I think it sounds pretty German. But uh, I, I I quite like that name. So uh, yeah, the blue district is gonna be called that. So thank you so much for that su suggestion. And uh, yeah, the red district, which uh, he actually suggested for the blue one, is going to be called uh, Mormont Row, and uh, it is by literally Schittler. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, he suggested that name, uh, but uh, as I said, I'm gonna name it for the the red one instead. So uh, yeah, but thanks for that suggestion. Uh, and uh, yeah, Mormon Row. I think that's a, a pretty good name. Uh, I think he said that uh, uh, it is some name from some game character or something. If I'm if I'm not wrong, uh, but yeah, I, I quite like that name. So uh, yeah, thanks so much for all of the suggestions. There were quite a few, and uh, there were some good ones and also some pretty weird ones. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, yeah, that's that. And uh, I guess I can talk a little bit uh, again what I'm doing here. So I'm making this uh, parking lot, which is uh, for this uh, big apartment building, which um, I sort of was debating if I wanted to have this one here, but in the end, I, I think it actually turned out qu 
quite well to have this building over here. I think it's I think it fits quite good um, to be honest. So so yeah, I put some I put some cars and, and stuff on that parking lot because I actually didn't make it functional. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I made some functional ones a little bit later on towards the end but um, yeah I'm making some big planters over here which has some some of these plant plain trees I think they're called I uh, haven't used those in a while because um, I used them quite a lot in I think Ferrisburg which was my series before Raymond I used them like I pretty much overused them there I used them so freaking much so so yeah I, I don't think I I um, placed a lot of those in Raymond um, as well, but uh, I kind of like those ones. They are by Mr. Mason. Uh, so yeah, I decided to use those there. I thought they would uh, fit quite well. But yeah, you can see I'm trying out those like new curbs by Ronix, but unfortunately I didn't have any, any use for them here because they didn't really work um, as, I, as I was planning it to, to, to work. Uh, but uh, I'm instead using these uh, like dock assets by by Ronix because I thought these were like more detailed and fit better than uh, than the other ones I used before, which are by uh, by Strict Toaster, uh, the DIY um, docks I think. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I like these more because uh, they were more detailed and I like the texture of these more. Um, so yeah, but um, put these here and I made some some uh, like uh, ploppable asphalt and some parkings and stuff so I actually didn't realize that you could do like you could turn off the terror or or shape to the ground or something with uh, with the move it mod so I struggled quite a bit uh, trying to place all of these uh, payments there uh, but then I I, um, I saw that button and uh, it turned out to be way more easier than I thought uh, when I when I made the ploppable asphalt instead um, So yeah, I'm just flattening out this area moving these uh, piers and stuff a little bit and uh, Yeah, just making it uh, a little bit cleaner and uh, we actually got some more room for for this dock area So um, I think I'm going and extending one of the piers a little bit and uh, Yeah, that turned out quite good also, I wanted to talk about a question I have gotten quite a lot lately, and uh, that is uh, regarding the asset collection, if I have one. And uh, yeah, so a lot of people have been asking about that, and uh, like I do have a asset collection, mods collection, um, but at the moment it is uh, <clears throat> it is not public, because uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just adding all of my new items there, and... Uh, it doesn't have like the rest uh, of the item items because uh, I, I okay so I should probably explain this a little bit better so I'm using I'm using the old Raymond collections uh, and then I made a another asset collection uh, which is not public uh, where I just add all of the new items I subscribe to um, so yeah, I hope that makes sense uh, but uh, yeah that means that I don't have every single asset and mod in one collection uh, so I manually have to go ahead and add all of those into into the new asset uh, collection uh, which takes a lot of time and uh, yeah I really don't have that much time at the moment so yeah I haven't been able to do that and uh, also it is very very uh, like time consuming and it's it's just really boring to just sit and click and add all of those I wish there were a, a easier way to add stuff to collections because right now it is really annoying and it just takes so much time um, so yeah that that's why I don't have a asset collection at the moment but uh, yeah don't worry I think I'll I'll get a collection when when this series is done so at least you can probably play on, on this save game if it isn't broken by that point um, but yeah um, I don't know uh, if I'm even gonna be able to to get that uh, asset collection done, but hopefully, I, I I really want to have a collection. So, uh, so yeah, <laughs> I guess that's the that's the answer for that, uh, because a lot of people have been asking, as I said, <clears throat> and um, and yeah. So uh, I'm just doing some detailing around all of these buildings <clears throat> and putting some like signs and stuff, 
so they look a little bit more interesting than just having like a flat wall. I also put some of those um, like vine props or something, um, which are like hanging on on the building, like on the walls of the buildings. So uh, yeah, I thought those look quite nice. And uh, put those there for some extra details. And uh, yeah, now I'm making some entrances for for this uh, soon to be a parking lot. And uh, yeah, I uh, I'm pretty happy how that turned out. And uh, put a lot of decals and stuff on that asphalt so it doesn't look that boring. But uh, yeah, you'll see that pretty soon. Uh, also, one last thing, we are coming up on 10,000 subscribers, which is uh, actually pretty awesome. Uh, that, that is a lot of people, but yeah, anyway, so I wanted to mention that because uh, I want to see if you guys Have any ideas and if you want me to do some type of like special video for 10k subscribers Because uh, I, I really don't have a, an idea myself um, And uh, yeah, I don't even know if I'll make one, but uh, if you have any suggestions uh, make sure to leave those in the comments because uh, yeah, if you want anything special uh, for, for 10k subscribers, I guess I could make that, but uh, yeah, just one thing, I, I won't do like a face reveal or something like that, because I really don't see any point in doing that. Um, so yeah, but if you have any other cool ideas I could do, uh, please let me know. So uh, yeah, but um, thank you so much for almost 10k subs, but, uh, but yeah, I think that's, um, that's gonna do it for, for this episode. And, um, or I guess not the episode, I guess for my, my commentary, because we still have a little bit left on the time lapse, which you're gonna have to enjoy with some music instead. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, thanks so much for watching this video. And um, if you want to get some updates and teasers and all sort of stuff, go and follow me on Twitter, link is in the description. And also, if you are interested in playing on, on this map, you can go down in the description as well and you'll find a link so you can play there. And uh, yeah, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, that's gonna do it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day and take care and bye bye.